Um, I was young when I started working because my family didn't have a lot of money. But most importantly, I had to learn not to shy away from being honest that my family doesn't have a lot of money. Um, and had to learn to grow up in a country, Germany, where Africans are um, a minority and I had to learn to accept that people didn't see me as a German person, even though I have a very German accent. <laughs> Um, so there was a lot of external factors that pushed me into being authentic because otherwise life wouldn't have been so much fun. I think it's really important to follow your purpose in life because one, it unlocks your true potential. It brings out who you really are and what you're capable of doing. It's taking the time to identify hidden opportunities. The most important thing is finding your purpose first of all and then following it. I think at AFG we have found our purpose to contribute to the development of Africa. At AFG, one of the most important parts of our, of our structure to me are the 12 values that we have, which are uh, distinguished into our client, ourself, and our team values. Now, unless we take the time, each of us, right, to identify opportunities within these sections, right, we won't be able to, to enact uh, that goal. I think what excites me most about AFG is that it allows us to dream and to be purposeful and to be impactful in our work, while at the same time being you know, fully integrated in the real world of, of business and policy. And I think on the one hand that's very bold and brave because it's a tough world. On the other hand, I think it's extremely rewarding and it's a gift. My big passion is helping to build African multinationals. Our company is only one year old, so we've not been in business for that long, but we were very honored that the Authenticity Project decided to award us the inaugural prize as the first winner of their project, which meant a lot to us because it seems that others are believing in our journey and what we're doing at Africa Foresight Group. If you only thrive to have a lot of money or if you only thrive to be recognized by others for your success, you will end up feeling emptier. Because if you can't close the loop to your personal story while you are doing something, then none of these things will actually give you the full satisfaction and you always have that question mark in your head, what is the next thing that I have to do? I prefer having authenticity as something that is a gift that I can benefit from again and again and again. So now I have a moment because everything with AFG being very new, where authenticity is on a high, <laughs> but I'm sure there will be moments again where I lose it and I have to rediscover it. And the ability to rediscover it is what will help you push it to the next level. So I think these shock moments are important and as soon as we see them, we shouldn't be scared of them, but we should rather take them as an opportunity to think about where we are with our authenticity path and what can help us to rediscover it and bring it to the next level so that it can be incorporated in our daily lives again. The world has become more fast paced and there's more technology and all of that, but I don't think it's only that. I think it's also that people are searching more for what they really believe in and what they want to dedicate themselves to. Authenticity matters a lot, but I think it's a journey that requires a lot of self-reflection. So for me, it was also only a couple of years ago that I realized how valuable authenticity is to me as a person and a, as an individual doing business and trying to achieve a certain impact. I think authenticity matters because it is the only thing that can make you whole. The opportunity to choose has become much wider and much more accessible for many of us. Well, I think it is needed in humanity and in the world because if anyone was not being authentic, AFG would not have been created. It is by the genuine nature of people that we get new things created in the world today. I would say that authenticity is something that we always have to rediscover and sometimes lose because otherwise we can't rediscover it. I think we all have to find our personal version of what authenticity means. My trait of character, or live up to that, which is that I care a lot about equality, I care a lot about people being given the same opportunities, and I just see too much of economic inequality that is a result of things not being fair in the business environment that we have in African countries. But this is my definition of it, and this is what drives me. Mentors are important, not always because they can be role models, because they might also make a lot of mistakes, but they can be your mirror so that 
you can see from a different person's perspective because depending on, on what phase in your life you're in, you will have different questions that you need to answer and you will need to look for different types of people who can mirror you the way it's needed for you to find your way back onto a path of authenticity. Mm -hmm.